Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The inventors of colonialism and racism, pretty much, as my grandson would say, uh, are responsible for the situation and the racism that has grown for centuries and centuries. And y'all acting like y'all surprised? Are you freaking kidding me? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. See, that's why I say I'm crazy. I got to be crazy. Why am I straight? Huh? I need to be shooting up some more heroin. In Listen. How? Let's, I want to just speak briefly about Harry, okay, and Megan Marker. Okay, the first thing I want to do is wonder why anybody is surprised. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's surprised that Meghan Markle would experience racism <laughs> with the colonial empire of Great Britain, of, of London, of England. My word, cheerio pop pop. Are you kidding me? Allegations of racism from Buckingham Palace, <laughs> who has got centuries and centuries and centuries of blood on their hands. Are you people really that fucking crazy in that in denial like that? Oh my God, I cannot believe this. If you people. You know, that's why it was making me so mad when I was seeing black women saying stuff like, I should go get me a prince. and Ooh, I have to go to London and go get me a... You know, it was so psychotic for y'all to even come across that way because of Harry. Um, First of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let's dissect the madness for five minutes, okay? Um, If... if uh. Harry know what's best for him. He would have did just like he did. Got the heck out of there. Because his wife and child will end up like his mother. Okay. Everybody knows what happened to his mama. It is no secret what happened to his mother. In fact, allegedly, um... Those people in Buckingham Palace knew exactly what was going to happen to her and when. She should have never started dating Dodie Fayed, the dark one. Y'all know she should have never, ever started dating him. This Dodie Harrod, Farad, the son of the, uh, uh um, you know, Harrods. Then you had Piers Morgan, who had a complete meltdown with his racist, crazy ass, talking about he still don't believe Megan, you know, and that his royal, <laughs> you know, let me just say something to you, racist ass, crazy, ignorant, uneducated, um, straw hanging out the mouth or inside the throat people. You don't have to believe <laughs> um, Meghan Markle. Because if you don't, you're stupid. You need to do the history of your country. You need to find out the, the race baiting and this enslavement of Africans that the great British Empire condoned, reft up um Okay, co-signed and delivered. Okay. So, it's amazing because it goes, interviews with U.S. chat show hosts make no difference. Jacob rees Mogg defends the Queen as he denies Harry and Meghan's attack. And it's, uh, uh, he, he denies uh, that he, that the, the, Harry and Meghan attack has damaged the monarchy and dismisses claims that their son Archie was denied a title. So they just made that up. And this big racist ass 
crazy ass world. They would just make this up. What it is is you people are now having to confront all the damn lies that you did. You all for centuries and centuries, y'all thought you was never going to confront this the, the society. The, the universe was never going to confront your lies, your greed, your mayhem, your murder, your deceit, your hatred, your enslavement. You thought that you was just going to go on into the sunset, I guess, without even having to deal with the world that you created? You devils. And so 2021, 2020, it's been on the skirt. It's being brought right back to you. Okay. Um, you got the police who's pouring scorn on Harry and Maggie's claim that Archie's security was tied to him being a prince and say the couple had no right to bodyguards because as private individuals, they were no longer under threat. Um, it's, it's amazing to me how many people want to talk about um, their lying as opposed to confronting this demon that's over there with your sister, the queen ass. And the same demonic forces and energy is right here. It's the same card. It's the same people. They ran over from there and started the country over here. Don't you understand that? Got y'all dumbass worshiping them? As if... I mean, what? Do y'all really know the history of racism? The history of enslavement of African and the home of black and brown bodies? Y'all don't know. I cannot believe that people would act so stupid as to be surprised that there's racism in a monarchy. You people are so damn crazy. Um, I can't even talk because it's so sick. It's like y'all acting like this stuff is coming out of nowhere. It's just like, they're not racist? How dare her say that? Let me tell you something. The whole damn world was built on race. Europe and America. Y'all twins. <coughs> now, it says, Did Megan personally cost Piers Morgan his job? Duchess formally complained to ITV out of concern for others dealing with their own mental health after presenter said he didn't believe a word she said and refused to apologize. So, uh, very interesting. Um, look at this. Megan complained to ITV about peers claiming his views would upset people. Okay, this was she complained to. And she said, and with mental health problems. Uh, Revere Sieg hosted Good Morning American Britain with Susanna Reed today as the show beat BBC rival for the first time. Pierce stands by his views that he didn't believe a word of the Duke and Duchess Oprah interview shown by ITV. Twitter users responded by sharing links to Ofcom and gave instructions on how to complain to TV regulation to TV regulator. Meghan Marco formally complained to ITV's boss about Pierce Morgan's, Morgan's hours before the Good Morning Britain co-host quit, but denies it was fueled by the journalist insisted she was lying to Oprah Winfrey, but about being suicidal and the royal family being racist. It was real to it was revealed today. The Duchess of Sussex claimed that she was not upset that Mr. Morgan said he didn't believe the word she said. In her interview with Oprah, the broadcast the broadcaster paid CBS one million to show, but was worried about how his comments could affect people attempting to deal with their own mental health problems. That's what she told uh, a press association. Mrs. Markle is is understood to have gone directly to ITV CEO. Carolyn McCall, the former boss of the left-wing Guardian newspaper, who said yesterday that they were dealing with peers hours before he quit after refusing to apologize and for his honesty held for his honestly held opinions and declaring freedom of speech is a hill that I'm happy to die on. 
This is this this Pierce Morgan dude is an issue. He's a problem. The journalist fifty five had branded a Megan uh, Princess Pinocchio after an interview where the Duchess said she was suicidal while five months pregnant, but denied help by the palace and accused the royal family of denying Archie the title of prince because he is of mixed race, with Mr. Morgan demanding the Sussex back up their claim with evidence. You know, we don't have to, um, nobody that's black have to back up no c complaints about their racism in a, in a monarchy. <laughs> that is pretty much single-handedly responsible for in inventing this colonialism. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, y'all. Really? Really? <laughs> Listen, this is so insane. This is so sick. He's really serious about it. Mr. Morgan described his departure. He said, I'm just going to take it easy and see how we go from here. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe that the right to be allowed to have an opinion. If people want to believe Meghan Markle, that's entirely their right. I think it's fair to say, although the crowd, the woke crowd, will think that they canceled me, I think they will be rather disappointed when I reemerge. I will call it a temporary hibernation. He probably has something in the works already anyway, if so. But this guy is an idiot. He's an idiot. He was an idiot when he interviewed Joe Jackson. He was an idiot when he, you know, they might love him. Man, I think as a journalist, he sucks. I really do. I don't think he's objective. And uh, what he did by walking off that show, his own damn show, <laughs> just proved it to me. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.